Hey everybody, welcome to the Backseat Gorilla Club. My name is Sean Patrick, that's Brother Lucas, and we're covering the G1 Climax Tournament uh, from uh, July 22nd, 2018. This is going to be the A Block Tournament. Tonight, uh, we had Michael Elgin versus Yoshihashi, Evil versus Bad Luck Fale, Jay White versus my guy, Minoru Suzuki, and uh, let's see, Hiroshi Tanahashi, Hangman Page, and then Togi Makabe and Kazuchika Okada. Wonderful night, um, except for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yoshihashi versus Michael Elgin. Um, first things first, man. All right, Yoshi just has to lay in his shots. He's over there playing footsie with somebody that could destroy him, literally. Yeah. And then and that was the story of this entire match. You know, he was just slapping him, and you know, he, he paid for it. You know, Elgin got in his shots. Um, I mean, there's a couple of decent moves, sort of. There's a swanton by Yoshi in there. Um, but you know, Mike hit that German, which was great. He had a fisherman spine buster, that was great. Mm -hmm. And you know, it just gets countered with meh, meh, meh. Yeah. Baby slaps. Yeah. So I mean, in the end. Mike got that buckle bomb. It was a one-two count. And then, uh, let's see, we had a half, a half and half suplex by Elgin. Uh, we had a splash mountain, but that only got a two count as well. Somehow Yoshi has decided to be, or er, is resilient throughout this entire thing. Uh, he just eats blow after blow. Um, and then we had a karma. And then we had a one a two and a three so unfortunately somebody's gotta lose at least once and somebody's gotta win at least once and in this case yoshihashi got lucky tonight yeah um yeah that was actually another story of this match too was just that yoshi was the loser of a block and um you know it's like can he can he win against a guy like elgin can he win at all in this tournament of course you know like i said he's gonna gonna win at least one I don't think anybody's gone nothing. Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But um, yeah, there was a couple good moves in there, like you said. I, I love Elgin's chops and his forearms. They just look like they're. It's like a cement block on his arm. He's just hitting them with. And uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, so Yoshihashi right before he hit Karma, which is sort of like a, it's like a fisherman driver sort of. Um, he hit like a. Something close to the Back to the Future that Kushida does, and that's uh, like a like a package, like a small package driver, um, right before Karma. So yeah, other than that, um, Yoshi won, and like you said, everybody's got to win one. The next match was um, Bad Luck Fale versus Evil. This was cool. I like this match. It was basically the story was that Evil was gonna have to fight, you know, Tongaloa, who was out there. He was gonna have to fight both guys and try to, you know, counter Bad Luck Fale's. Um, dirty tactics by trying to get his, his teammates involved so <clears throat> um they, they just went out for a while and and evil had to like i said fight off tonga 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 uh, uh, tonga loa knocked him off the apron um they were outside and there's a chair spot where uh evil gave the chair to tonga loa so that he could get caught by the ref and at that time um evil had taken the chair to bad luck fale put it around his neck threw him into the post um at the end of this it went kind of crazy because th there was a ref bump and um then tongaloa comes in he starts trying to hit everything bushi runs in hits the mist on tongaloa um and then everybody starts coming out naito the uh, tamatanga um and this is this big like bcog and uh lij just brawl in there and at the end the ref kind of wakes up and tamatanga just uh gun stuns evil right in front of the ref and so the ref throws it out and it's a dq and um he gun stuns naito afterwards and it's just a a mess they're, they're obviously bcog is showing that they don't give a damn about points they're just trying to prove a point so they're you know or send a message i should say yeah it was a good match um uh you know continuing the bullet club story which you know people that don't watch this which they should they're gonna be so totally confused on the next big event because they're gonna miss out on all this stuff. That's why you gotta watch it. You know, you don't have to sit there and watch it, you know, every single day like we do, but 
Yeah, keep up. <laughs> you can watch this, and then you won't have to watch all that. I'm just saying. Yeah, subscribe <laughs> to the channel and hit the bell notification. You'll find out every result every time. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, we got Jay White and Mizor Minoru Suzuki. Jay's playing up that uh, strategy of hit and run again. He's uh, you know starts off the match. He's hiding in the ropes. Uh, you know, you know Minoru will go after him, and then. You know, Jay, you'll slide under the rope and then he'll do it again, do it again, do it again. It's, you know, slow start, but, you know, it's, it's playing up to that heel character really well. Um, let's see. Of course, Jay hits his spots uh, doing the, uh, the ring to the rail and the ring to the rail. Uh, Suzuki actually gets another spider arm bar that seems to be his thing lately. Which I love, even though it's only good for a five count and still inflicts a whole lot of damage to his opponent. Um, PK kicks are just brutal. There's three of them back to back to back. And mm -hmm. they, yeah. <laughs> um, so, let's see, what led up to that? Uh, Jay had a Muda lock applied to, to Suzuki. Uh, but it was kind of weird, uh, you know, in that Muda Law, he kind of slapped the top of his head, much like they do in the UFC to get uh, people to open up their head a little bit to, to inflict a little more damage. So he's slapping the back of the head of Suzuki until he finally lifted his head. And then when he did lift his head, he grabbed the chin for a split second, and then he went straight for the eyeballs, the eye gouge. To which Suzuki replied to that with a uh, small joint manipulation, wrist lock, finger, almost snapped him straight off of Jay White. Yeah. <laughs> Not good. Um, but uh, let's see. In the end, we had uh, some chops here and there. We had that final cut ish kind of maneuver. Uh, and then we had the ear boxing by Suzuki. Had a deadlift German by Jay. That was awesome. Uh, That's cool. Suzuki gets that rear naked choke. And uh, let's, um, that was pretty much it right there. Uh, gotch pile driver one two three and of course it's not so annual anymore but uh, the beating of <laughs> the, the young boys the beating yeah. of the cameraman Damn all the that just just the after match beatings <laughs> yeah. yeah um yeah right before that gotch jay was trying to low blow and uh suzuki caught it and then he just killed them with that pile driver uh, um next match was hiroshi tanahashi versus hangman page um this is cool. This is kind of playing off their last tag match and everything when they when they had the air guitar thing going on. Um, first, this starts off with, uh, well, the first thing that happens is, you know, Tanahashi does his like, little shirt thing. He pulls his shirt off his vest and, and the crowd goes, oh. And so Hangman kind of turned around and saw that and then he decided he was going to do like the same sort of like movements and everything and sort of mimic Tanahashi during that motion. And he had the same kind of reaction and it was just like a, you know, it's just showing that he can do what he what, what Tana's doing. He can get those reactions, and um, they start with some chain wrestling, and then they do the air guitar spot. Really good chain wrestling, by the way. And they don't always start with that in New Japan, and so when they do, it's it's special. I like it. Um, the air guitar spot. Tanahashi, you know, hit the air guitar, and then he gave it to Hangman Page. Now in the last match, the tag match they had, uh, Page basically took the guitar and put it under the ring, and then when Tana wanted it back, he gave it to him and everything. This time. Hangman stares down at the guitar, looks at it for a little bit, and then he just decides he's gonna snap the air guitar over his knee, and that got a huge pop out of us and the crowd. And um, Tana got pissed. Like it was just a, a. It's interesting how New Japan can do this comedy stuff inside serious matches, and it can just snap right back to like a serious match. So that was really cool. Um, of course, Hangman Page hits his like signature pump handle fallaway slam with a bridge, which is like just phenomenal athletically. Um, after that, Tanahashi tried to hit a crossbody. Off the top, or like a, like he ricocheted off the second rope, turned around and just hit a crossbody, and uh, Hangman rolled through the whole crossbody for a um, stretch muffler, held that for a bit, and then um, then they do the leg spot. So the leg spot is when they they both you know do a kick or somehow get each other's legs, they grab it, and then they're saying, okay, you know, you put it down, no, you put it down, okay, on three, one, two, three. So they get to that, and last time they did it, I think Hangman had gotten like Tanahashi, like he didn't really put it down and got a hold of him and everything. This time, Tana's the one that caught his leg back up and then did a dragon screw leg whip on top of that. Um, there's a somersault sent on by Tanahashi, a shooting star headbutt by uh, Hangman Page off the apron. I love that. Yes. And then at some point, uh, Hangman actually gets him in a figure four leg lock for a while. They do the turnaround thing. 
um, gets the ropes. And of course, you know, Tanahashi loves that dragon screw. He hits it from the on the mat. He hits it on a little rope when someone's coming through. Um, right about that point, Hangman Page comes in, hits that buckshot lariat real big. Um, and then there's a, let's see, a nice little short sling blade into the finish, which is a standing uh, high fly flow, the cross body off the top to a standing opponent. And then once he's down, Tana hit that second one, which is basically a frog splash at that point. And um, yeah, Tana wins. Um, Hangman Page looks good, but he doesn't have too many points right now. The only ones he has is from that disqualification. But yeah. yeah always a pleasure watching those two fight. It really is. Mm-hmm. Uh, that shooting star, I can't compliment him enough on that. It's, it's a beautiful it's thing. Good. It is. Yep. And uh, yeah, you said everything I wanted to, the dragon screws, everything. Um, so Togi Makabe, we finally got it right. Togi it, Makabe? It's Makabe. Makabe? All right, so we so. almost got it right. <laughs> someone correct, someone can, will troll us about that, I'm sure. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> correct us in the comments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that guy versus Kazuchika Okada, <laughs> the balloon maker, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> comes out. He was, uh, he's got his balloons in tow. He releases those uh, baseball balloons up into the crowd, um, like he's been doing the past few shows. Uh, he gives, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, oh man, um, he gives Rocky Romero a concussion with one of the balloons. <laughs> His wife comes in and smacks the crap out of him. It's funny, yeah. It's great. Um, so this one, it, this one's just a brawl, pretty much. It's it's a lot of heavy-handed shots. It's a lot of back and forth. It's it's a wrestling match. Um, uh, you know, th- there's a couple of little spots in there. You know, uh, you know, some rail eating uh, stuff like that. Um, some forearm exchanges, which are 20 times better than the first match of uh, you know at least this show. So it's the second half of the entire show, but yeah that match um a couple of ddt's uh flying crossbody shotgun drop kicks all by okada just great stuff um let's see there towards the end uh you know he te- he tries to get that tombstone in uh doesn't quite get it uh ends up eating a death valley driver uh, by Maka- makabe makabe <laughs> and uh let's see uh, more drop kicks. Um, all right, so uh, there's an attempted rainmaker at the end that gets countered with an overhand chop straight to the clavicle, and <clears throat> it looks bad or it looks brutal, and uh, it was done really well. But uh, the rainmaker uh, came back after a rolling lariat. Rainmaker one, two, three, and we have a somewhat happy, somewhat confused. Balloon Okada giving a promo, and the rest was in a language that uh, at least I don't speak. If you speak Japanese, hit me up. Hit me up Teach on. Teach it to me. Yeah. yeah, you can be our translator. Seriously, oh, we'll yeah, Skype you in awesome. or something. For sure. Um, yeah. So there was no Scooby Doo Doo, and uh, yeah, Okada. My my take on Okada is that he's thinking about going to clown school. The next thing he just needs is animal uh, balloon animals out there. So <laughs> I don't know what he's just like in a, like having a, a midlife crisis. Um, yeah, it was a standard stuff, like you said. And um, there was one cool power bomb that Makabe hit that wasn't quite like a full lift. It was just like like a, a dirty power bomb. It was just like sort of like a FU. Like it just like squished him onto the mat. He didn't get him up too high. Like it looked kind of brutal. But yeah, other than that, you covered it. And Okada got on the mic and said, Hey, everybody, that's my second victory. I don't have anything to say. Like So <laughs> something, something along those lines. But um yeah, uh, we're gonna go to you know B Block next time, and we're gonna keep this rolling. Oh, so what's the statistics now? We have three people at the top of A Block, which is Jay White with six points. Um, who else has six points? Um, Okada. No, Okada has four points now. I think it's Evil and man, I can't think of the third person. But yeah, there's a three-way tie for um, for the leader of A Block right now. So. Uh, and the only one left undefeated at all in the tournament, as far as I'm, I know, is Kenny Omega in B-Block. So, and he's the IWGP Heavyweight Champion. But anyway, you know, I digress. 
Well, folks, we're going to wrap this one up, and we're going to, I don't know, I might go watch an old WWF Attitude Era pay-per-view or something. But in the meantime, what you should do is subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, leave a comment down below. We love to hear from you. Follow us on social media. All of our links are in the description of the video below. And until next time, build that brand.